Hi everyone, I'm Steven and thanks for watching my channel. Today I'm going to share with you a type of monkey cup that which is also known as Nepenthes, Nepenthes uh, ventrata and it is a hybrid uh, between uh, Nepenthes ventricosa and Nepenthes alata. Let's check it out. Here you go. So basically I have planted this for around six months time. As you can see that you know it's growing towards the right side because I'm hang, hang, hanging it um, in my you know car porch and during the morning the sunlight when the sunlight rises right it comes from the right side of it right and then it shines so that is why you are seeing it that you know they are growing towards the right. The Nepenthes usually loves um, places with uh, high humidity and especially when it is warm and the place that I stay, I live in is kind of like a warm throughout the year with high humidity so you can see that you know it's kind of growing quite well and it has grown uh, very much bigger and throughout the six months and you know, many new peaches are coming up they are kind of beautiful. You can see from here, this is the one, the baby that is going to come up from these leaves. And those are the bigger ones. Let me share you, share with you more. Yep, right over here is hidden inside. Another one, small one. And with, uh, you know, these, these are the ones that, that are older one where you can see the top of it are drying off okay from here you can see more of them you know big and small let's take a look at this you know where the cup haven't been opened up full yet right and here are the bigger picture of it Yeah, and you know, sometimes in the morning and sometimes in the evening, where you can see all those insects will be visiting this plant, where because you know those uh, nectar in in the picture itself they attracts uh, insects. You know, so when when the insects are trapped within it, and then um, they'll be drowned, and the nectar will will be digesting them, and then the new nutrients will be added on to the plants and that is why they are growing pretty well right so it's a very nice plant and for this chapter i'd like to share with you guys more as um i'm actually trying to you know kind of propagate or in i noticed that there, there are kind of new plants coming up from the side of the port so you know trying to yeah there's even a small picture inside so i'm trying to you know report it and then to transfer all the baby plants out from here and hope that they will you know i can split up to more more pots for this Now from here that you can see that you know even from the side those small features are coming up right that's beautiful let's see how we can split them up
Try to open them up slowly. This is kind of quite new to me and understand that, you know, the roots of this peaches plant are kind of tiny. So I'm not quite sure. Hopefully I won't be hurting them. So basically you can see from here that you know we can plant this um, peacher plant using this magnum moss and they grow they are growing quite well from this. Kind of a bit um, complex on the root part of it. Oh, here you go. You can see a small plant has been detached from the root, right? That's nice. We have a new plant here. Hopefully that we can get this off as well. It seems like it's attached to it. Yeah, I think it's kind of hard to detach this one as it's kind of a, it's kind of branching out from the side of it, from the main plant. Uh, 
I think this is growing as well. So interesting. We can, you know, just tear off the drying part. I think I wouldn't want to spoil the rest of it. We'll replant the small plant that we have gotten just now. Right. Okay, so let's try to put it back, the main plant. Right. At the bottom of it. Let's do it. Nice small picture coming out from the side of it, All right? Make sure that they are not being covered so that they can grow healthily. Try to add on more of the sphagnum moss to make it more firm, right? So that they don't drop off. Okay. Let's add on a bit more. Okay, there's some small pictures from here. Let's make sure that they are not hurt. Add on a bit more from here. Here we go. Okay, 
So I put back those hooks, right, so that I can hang them up again. So as you can see that just now, the right side, the, the right side of the plants, right, the branches are kind of too heavy and, and it leans towards the right. So I'm using, you know, the hooks to support it so that they won't fall, right? Okay, so just now we managed to separate out these um, baby plants, right? So let's plant it in a smaller pot, right? And let it happy growing in it. So I'm going to use Magnum Moss again. Here you go, right? So basically, sphagnum moss will keep the um, the base moist, right? So basically, um, monkey cup and the panties, they they love um, moist uh, environment, but not not soaking wet, right? So make sure that you know your pot have um, you know, enough holes to let the water flow out. Okay, so basically while reporting just make sure that you know the allow it some space for it and not over tight. Right, so that within it will have some space of you know to grow. Right. So it's fine to kind of allow it to lean on the side of it. So I think you're pretty much good. Okay, it's nice. Hey, so here you go. You are done. So basically, um, monkey cup on the panties is kind of uh, easy to grow, easy to plant. Uh, they need sufficient um, sunlight, not too hot, but under the shade is fine. At least a couple of hours a day, like especially the morning sun, is um, sufficient enough, right? So make sure that um, they have uh, enough water. Make sure that the pot, you know, the water can flow in and out easily. They will be growing happily so if you like my channel you know give me a thumbs up give me a like and subscribe to it and i'll share more with you in the next chapter thank you